Want to learn how to make this easy dumpling recipe? Then stay tuned. Hi, so let's start making the pork and ginger dumpling. For the recipe, you're gonna need some minced ginger, minced garlic, two eggs, you're gonna need light soy, sesame oil, um, chopped Napa cabbage, a pound of ground pork, preferably um, high in fat content. You're gonna need baking soda, some um, cornstarch, salt, and pe white pepper. And then for the dumpling dough itself, you're gonna need flour, hot water, and salt. Let's get started. So, we're gonna take four cups of Napa cabbage and chop them up. Place them in a deep bowl with about a tablespoon of salt. Um, you're gonna let it sit for about 30 minutes, and this is to draw any excess liquid. After 30 minutes, take a cheesecloth, a ch clean cheesecloth, or a paper towel, and we're gonna put the the Napa cabbage inside the cloth to wring out any excess water. Now we're going to mix the mixture and combine everything. Now the filling for the recipe, um, you can alter it to, if you don't like pork, you can use ground chicken, um, you can even use beef. Um, sometimes I like to add shrimp, dice up shrimp inside, which is uh, very tasty too. So you can alter it to however you like. Just the seasoning, I would keep it the same, but the filling itself in terms of the meat item or even the vegetable if you're not a fan of napa cabbage you can use carrots we also have a recipe that we use of dice um, chinese chives so um, there's different types of filling but um, this one is actually one of my favorite and then let it sit marinated for at least 30 minutes if not more if you have the time let it sit for longer if not, 30 minutes will, should be fine. And then we're gonna go ahead and start making the, um, the dumpling wrap. So we're gonna go ahead and start making our dumpling wrapper. To make the dumpling wrapper, you're gonna need all-purpose flour. Uh, here I have eight cups. In it, I have already added a teaspoon of salt. To that, we're gonna slowly add in boiling hot water. Because the water is gonna be very hot, you're gonna need some type of utensils to start incorporating the water with the flour mixture. I'm just gonna use a chopstick and slowly form this um, dough that we're gonna make for our um, dumpling wrap. So you wanna go ahead and take hot water and just slowly add it in. I would say add maybe about a quarter of a cup at a time, um, just so you don't over add. A li little goes a long way. Um, the, if we start adding little by little, it's better than adding a lot more because then we're just gonna have to, um, in order to save that, we would have to add in extra flour to um, if it's if the mixture becomes too wet. And once you think that um, we've added enough, because you can sort of eyeball it, um, we can slowly use our hand because now it's not as hot and slowly incorporate all the flour mixture to form a ball. So you see how the ball, the dough is actually 
starting to form and pull together. So the way to kneel the dough is with the palm of your hand, you want to bring it up with your finger and push with your palm and just keep rotating with your finger, lift the dough and then with your palm, the of your hand, push it down. Right to form. Now we don't want it over knee the dough too much because it'll become too elastic. So we just want to form it. And then what we're going to do is to put it, it back into your bowl, your stainless bowl. And you want to take a wet paper towel, slightly wet, and we're going to cover this and then just put it aside to let it rest for about an hour. So now that the dough has sit for about an hour, we're gonna go ahead and start making the dumpling wrapper. So we're gonna take the dough out of the bowl and just kneel it a little bit. If you need to, you can flour the surface with um, some all-purpose flour. And then what I do is then just basically rip a section of the dough off and then cover the rest with bat, um, with your paper towel so it doesn't get dry. And now you want to take the dough that we had just sectioned off and make it into a long log. So at this point we're going to take some flour and just flour the surface. And what you want to do is Place the dough in the palm of your hand and basically rip a section off. And this is going to be our dough to make the dumpling wrap. So I'm now going to show you how to form the round circle of the dumpling wrap. So you're going to form sort of a circle just by placing it in between your hands and then taking a small rolling pin we're gonna place the dough between our fingers the four fingers and the thumb, the thumb will be on top and what we're gonna do is with our other hand where the rolling pin is just roll the pin slowly up the dough and then with your other hand you're gonna rotate. The thumb is gonna help rotate the wrapper, the dough. And what we're trying to do here is to form a wrapper and it doesn't have to be perfectly round where the edges are gonna be thin but the center is gonna be a lot more thicker because the center is where we're gonna be placing the filling and if we have the dough too thin the filling will then come apart and we don't want that so we're basically just gonna we're just rolling the rolling pin on the edge of the wrapper and slowly bringing it out to sort of stretch the dough and I think this is a good size it's not perfectly round but that's okay because when we wrap the dumpling you you won't even see this so i'm going to take the next one and i'll show you how to do it again so just with your fingers with the palm of your hands just sort of flatten it and then you're going to take the um rolling pin and with your other fingers and the thumb on top i'm going to just slowly roll it and then just roll it in and out and we're just basically rolling just the edges and if 
you see the edge is much thinner but the middle is thicker because that's where the filling is going to be. So now I'll show you how to wrap a, a dumpling. So you're going to take your dough in the palm of your hands and we're going to take about, let's say, a, a spoonful, so this is about a teaspoonful of, um, and we're going to just fill in, put the filling in the middle, right? And you're going to just take one side to meet with the other side, okay? I'm gonna, you see where my thumb is, is gonna be right there. And my other finger is gonna be used to just pinch and secure the dough together. So basically, we're just gonna take one of our hands, the finger, pinch, and our other hand is, our other finger, index finger, is gonna be slowly, you see how I'm making this? Fold, that's what we're doing, is making that fold with our other hand. And then with our, my right hand, I'm basically using my index fingers to pinch, to basically seal the wrapper. And then when we get to the end, we just basically want to pinch it and secure it and seal the wrapper. So I got Rudy to come and help me make. Um, let's see how. All right, Alison says cameraman. So you hit this. Yes. I think it might be too. Is it too big? Okay. No, I just like calmed it right and stressed it out a little bit. Right. And then take. Right up here with your thumb. And your thumb stretch it out. Hold it. <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah, that's how you do it. <laughs> no. Yeah, like this. No, but you have to. Be able to. Do oh, this. oh, Turn. Try that. that's cool. That's cool. Uh, all right, now I see what's going on. You said it doesn't have to be round, it just have to be nice size. Let's see. I'm getting there, don't worry. Let me see. Make sure the middle is not thin down. No, definitely it's not. Like okay, we don't need it too large. Let's see. Okay, okay, now see if you can do the filling. Try. Right, you said one teaspoon. That's about right. It's too much? Yeah, Maybe too much. Take a little out in case the filling starts oozing out. You're the pro. Alright, then fold it over. Do you over. remember how to do the nice fold? I'm gonna try. Like I think you said like that? Nope. Come over here and show us. Okay. Apparently, as cameraman, I wasn't noticing. Yeah, let's see my hands now. Let's see our big height display. So. Let's see how you do it. Hey, don't take it far. Don't take it far. Well, I've got it. It's my masterpiece. So you're gonna take this, and then using your other finger, you know, pinch. Oh. And you fold. We're only folding the outer skin. Not both. Not both, really. See? I remember that. Your wrapper is quite large. What's the name? <laughs> <laughs> Your wrapper is quite large. Look at the difference design. between it's, it's, Look at the difference between his and mine. It's proportionate to height. <laughs> so I've made the all the ba the batches of the dumpling. And majority of them are frozen inside the freezer so that um, when it gets hardened, I can easily just uh, place them into Ziploc bags for storage. These are the ones I'm going to start frying or pan fry them, and I'm going to show you how to do them. Um, because they are fresh, not frozen, they take less time to cook. So in a half fryer or a pan, Actually turn the fire on high to heat the, the pan and what we're going to do is um, most like to take oil I'm a little bit more conscious 
with cooking with oil. So I like to use um, cooking spray. So you do, what you want to do is heat up the wok, um, your pan. You can use a wok or just a uh, very um, shallow pan. And once that gets heated up, which it take about a minute, you want to just start spraying your pan or putting in oil. Now once the pan starts to heat up, we're going to start to line the pan with the dumpling. And we're going to line it into a circular shape. Enough to cover it maybe a quarter of the way up of the pan. And then what you want to do is now lower the heat from high to low, very low. And then we're going to cover this and let that cook. Because it's fresh and not frozen, we just made it, I'd say maybe about five five minutes or so. We just want the inside to get cooked. Um, and I'll show you how to crisp up the skin. So we're going to now check on the dumpling. It's been about five minutes. Um, again, these were fresh. If it was frozen, I would give it another three to four minutes um, of cooking time. So you'll see that the water that we had put into the pan has evaporated. And what we want to do is now turn up the heat to high to further let the water cook down and evaporate and this is going to help crisp up the, the, under, the skin that's underneath um, on the bottom of the dumpling. And this is also going to help us to basically lift up the dumpling without breaking the shell. So what I normally like to do is to just look to see that the water all the water has evaporated and um, I can kind of just tell when it's time to lift up the dumpling. So you'll see that once you start lifting them up, you start getting this nice golden color. So what you want to do is shut off your heat. So the dumpling just came off of the stove and um, to dip in a sauce, what I did was I just went to the Asian market and bought this gyoza soy sauce. You can easily make one of your own at home by just adding some soy sauce, some vinegar, garlic, even ginger or diced up scallions here in the bowl. I just have some garlic and some scallions and I pour in some of this gyoza sauce. So I hope you try this recipe at home. It's simple and easy to make and you can get all your family involved to help make you this wonderful dish. So Rudy here has volunteered to taste mommy's dumpling recipe. Use a fork. Make sure it's not too hot. Dip into the sauce. You want it spicy, you can add some sriracha. Mm, how is it? Good. Good? You have daddy come and try it. Which one was the one you cut? Try them at home, guys. So Izzy now wants to come and try. You want to try it with the soy sauce? How is it? Good or excellent? Good. Okay.